What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, shout out to my boy, the man, the myth. I love that name, man. Shit. Keeping it real. The freaking the man, the myth. Shout out to shout out to my man right here asking a really good question regarding a video that I dropped. Um, actually, well, shit, this video was was a while ago. How to run a Facebook ad to a landing page. Um, this is a video that I put out. Let's see. I think I put it out. Yeah, shit. Almost damn, dude. Almost exactly a year ago. Today's the 20 the 17th of 2021. And then this was back on April 19th, 2020. So this video right here, how to run a Facebook ad to a landing page. I was just simply going through a basic tutorial um, of how to simply how to simply run an ad to a landing page and, and which objective you want to go with and 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 the strategy. But my boy here, the man, the myth, asked a really good question, um, a couple of questions. And so I wanted to kind of just address them and, and really just bring some value to all you guys um, who are watching. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, because what I do is I drop daily videos um, on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. I've been in the trenches building an agency, um, building an agency since 2016, gotten hundreds of clients all through the direct message alone. Um, and been very successful with this. So now I'm 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 shifting and 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 monetizing my knowledge through digital publishing and, and courses and just really documenting what I do daily for either my digital business, my online business, or my clients. Um and again, a lot of it just comes down to, down to basic online marketing, social media marketing, landing pages, email automation, Facebook advertising. So if you're into that stuff, man, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Um, as you can see here, I'll take my time and I'll go in and answer the question um, in, in, in as much detail as possible and really try to bring value. So again, shout out to the man, the myth. Um, he put great vid man question when running ads, do you recommend pointing the same ads to the same landing? landing pages. Yes, for sure. You can run as many ads as you want to the same landing page. Like this is my landing, one of my landing pages right here that I run traffic to. Um, and I have a ton of different ads going to this one specific page. So yeah, that's, that's for sure. Not, not a problem at all. So is this what most people do? Yeah, actually, well, shit, no, let me back up. Most people don't do that. So you got to understand, man, that most people don't take anything serious, right? You got 1% that actually succeed in anything, um, whether it's sports, school, freaking whatever, like business, freaking life, relationships, whatever. You have a very small percentage, percentage that actually do the right thing. So it's not what most people do. Most people would just simply run one simple freaking ad and claim it didn't work after three days of spending two bucks a day, you know, it's like shit, like, come on, keep it real. Right. So it's like, um, it's not what most people do, but it's something you want to do for sure. You want to run a ton of different ads and, and it's testing, right. It's testing different ads. Um, it's testing different objectives. Um, and, 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 and it's creating multiple ad sets, which if you haven't, you know, learned how to do that, I'll tie a video to the end. I'll link it in the description. You want to learn how to run multiple ad sets, that's so important. Um, and as you run multiple ad sets, then you have a ton of different ads going to, yeah, one page or one ad. Um, and, 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 and conversion can be very, very high from there. So the next one, I have about 10 ads all going to basically a nice page to learn about the product with an offer at the end of it. Okay. So here's, here's what I really want to want to want to nail, nail, nail in and, and, and drill in on. Right when I say, right when I see nice page, right? Right when someone says, David, I have a freaking nice ass website. This shit is freaking badass. I spent a shitload of money on it. And, and, and this is the one I'm going to freaking use to advertise. And then I go look at it and it's freaking a $15,000 website. And there's 10 million different buttons to click on. And it's so detailed and, and, and informative where it's like shit. That's not the one, you know, so it's not about nice. Look, look at my page. My page is not nice. I mean, it's basic. Like you got a basic headline. Um, you got a button, you got an image, you got a few bullet points, um, a little bit about me, a little register, uh, another button, and that's it. There's really, it, it, there's really nothing to it. This is your basic standalone template um, for landing pages. Okay. So, you don't need the landing page or you don't need your web page to be to be to be nice like you just need it to be basic and straight to the point um so depending on what 
the definition of nice is, um, don't overthink it, right? So if you have 10 different ads going to a nice page um, with an offer at the end of it, um, the offer, make sure that the offer is something that, that, that they know exist right when they land here right the the headline the title that should that should you know give some interest on the offer and make sure that they're opting in okay make sure they're opting in in order to 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 take advantage of that offer don't just have all of this information all of this right here and then and then they don't even opt in Right. So so if anything, entice them with something of value, um, maybe something free, maybe a free download, maybe get them in on a free download. Click here to download your seven tips on how to lose weight fast. Right. So they're coming just to download your 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 freebie, your free PDF, your free uh, webinar, your free training, whatever. It could be anything digital and any, anything digital and anything, anything of value, right, that you can, you can give your audience to really, you know, weed out the people who are just browsing versus those who are actually interested in what you're offering, right? So always make sure you entice them with something to get them to opt in. That's what it's all about, man, is, is getting them to opt in. And then once, you, once that person opts in, then, then they can maybe see your higher end offer, whatever that offer may be. So I don't know if, if, if that one offer is your, is your main offer and, it, and, it, and it's just on your quote unquote nice page, right? And then if I like the offer, then I'll, I'll opt in, right? I wouldn't do it that way. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't put everything right here. Um, I, I, I'd, I'd make that person opt in first. So, so again, everyone's strategy is a little different. I've seen, I've gone to pages where it's freaking extensive, where it's just detail. I, I could scroll down for freaking nine days and I'm still reading the damn sales letter. And that's all on the first page. And I haven't even opted in yet. There's many pages like that that are successful. Um, a lot of Russell Brunson stuff is like that, where it's a long ass freaking sales letter, right? And then and then you can buy, but you know, that's Russell Brunson. Not many of us have that credibility yet. Um, so so if a lot of people don't know of you just yet, if you don't have a huge audience just yet, um, a following on social media just yet, then 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 most people may not be familiar with your brand and they may not they may not um they may not they may may not be interested in reading all this shit about some random person just to just to see if they like the offer right dumb it down again something of value for free to get them to opt in and then maybe see this paid offer which i'm assuming it it, it it's a paid offer right so don't show me that up front. Let me make, make me opt in and then and then and then show me after that. Okay. So hopefully that made sense. But yeah, 10 ads all going to a nice page to learn about the product um, with an offer at the end. Okay. So one more thing about this as well. So in fact, you know what? I can address it as I address this question, as I answer this question. Also, what do you think about doing conversion ads but using some of the ads to do a couple of high quality blog posts? Okay, so here's the deal. When you come into when you come into the ads manager, right? You come into the ads manager. It's all about clicking this green button, and then it's all about choosing your objective. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you're in the business of of of, of lead capture, if you're in the business of appointments, maybe you're a coach, you're a consultant, you're a real estate agent, you're an insurance agent, you're a freaking a freaking dentist. Um, if you're in the, if you're in the business of, 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 of client services and you're going for appointments, okay. So you're, ca you're looking to capture a lead or number two, you're looking for appointments. You're going for appointments. Um, or number three, you're going straight for a sale. Okay. Those are the main three leads appointments or sales, and they're all leads, but they're just, you know, little different, a uh, uh, strategy and objective. Um, those are the top three, right? Those are the top three. If you're in that type of business, it's conversions. 99% of the time, it's conversions, okay? It's conversions. 99.999% of the time, it's conversions, okay? Um, conversions to a landing page. Now, let me go back over here. Um, I have about 10 ads going to, to nice page to learn about the product with an offer at the end of it. Okay, so with this type of, with this type of, and then also um, using some of the ads to 
adds to a couple of my high quality blog posts. Okay, so these are two different types of objectives, okay? And objectives are over here. These are the objectives, right? These are the objectives. But what he's saying over here, blog post and then and then conversion and then offer at the end. These are these are different. Now we're talking different objectives, okay? So here's the deal. Here's how I'll, I'll break this down. Um Again, hopefully your nice page isn't too hardcore detailed before you get the name and email, okay? Make them opt in and then make them see the offer at the end. That's what I would do, um, especially if you're not a huge, huge, crazy influencer and you're, you know, got 3 million people following you. If you're smaller than that, then freaking basic page like this, give me something of value for free, make me opt in, and then maybe show me an offer at, 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 at the end, right? Once you've already captured my email, that's what I would be doing. Um, okay, so, so um, and then for something like this, I'd be running conversions, okay? So for this one, 10 ads with an offer at the end, that's conversions for sure, okay? Now over here, your last question, um, what do I think about doing conversion ads, but using some of the ads to do a couple of high quality, but, but, but using some of the ads to do a couple of my high quality blog posts. Okay. So here's what, here's what you want to for sure, for sure, make sure you're doing. Okay. Now, if you're sending traffic to a blog post, it doesn't have to be conversion ads. Okay. If you're sending people to a blog post, then what you can do is you can go, you can go either, you can go traffic, you can go traffic for sure. You can go traffic for sure. Um, if you're putting out video, then, 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 then maybe brand awareness or reach, you can do video, um, video views. But if we're trying to take people to an actual blog post and all we're trying to do is, is get people, um, is get people there. No, hard, no hardcore call to action, no hardcore conversion, right? It's just to get people there. Okay. That's a great strategy. And that's what I would be running traffic. So it's, it's, it's conversions for those that are looking to opt in, capture lead, get an appointment, make a sell it's conversions. If you're looking to just get people to your actual blog post, just to get, just to get traffic, that's traffic. But here's the number one thing you want to be doing. Okay. Here's the number one thing you want to be doing is as they come to your blog post, as long as you got this Facebook pixel tracking everything, you're good, okay? That's what you wanna be doing is make sure that your Facebook pixel is on that page, which I'm assuming it is for sure, right? As long as you're, 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 you're pixeling that traffic of people who have landed on the blog post or maybe clicked on other blog posts within your web your webpage um, and you're pixeling them, that's the most important. And then after that, after you install your pixel, you got to always make sure that you set up custom audiences. So if I'm running a traffic ad to my blog post, just to get exposure, just to get people there, just to get the traffic, you know, freaking freaking headed that way. The absolute number one thing that I better be doing is pixeling and capturing that data as a custom audience. Okay. So what you'll want to do and I'd be running traffic to that blog post, okay? So what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna come over here, click on the dots, go to audiences, and then all you're gonna do is take the link at the very top. You don't need the www, the HTTPS, you only need the URL, okay? So only your URL. Um, so if it's the, the manthemyth.com, that's all you need is the manthemyth.com. You don't need HTTPS, you know, semicolon, www, you don't need none of that shit just the URL. Okay. So you grab just the URL, you click on audiences, and then you come over here and you create an audience of that link. Okay. Of that, of that URL. So you come over here, custom audience, um, and then you're going to be going with website next. And all you're going to do is simply, um, um, right here where you see, um, um, all website visitors hit this drop down and you're going to specific. Now, this is an account that I'm not using, so you won't see my pixel um, active, but this dot would be green. Okay, so if your pixel is active, and the way you get it active is you simply just install it on a web page, open up the web page in, in a new tab, and Facebook will read that pixel for the first time, and that dot right here will be green. Okay, so always make sure that that dot is green right here. And then you're gonna hit the drop down. You're gonna go to specific web pages. And I would leave it at 30, okay? Leave it at 30. 
And then you're going to paste in your URL right here, your URL.com. It goes right there. Okay. So that's that. And then what you can do is you can simply come down here and name it. And I would name it um, my blog post visitors. Okay. My blog post visitors and simply hit create audience. And that's that. So now as I hit done and as I as I now run traffic ads to my blog post I'm now capturing the data I'm now creating a custom audience and the power of that is now I could take that custom audience and retarget and show them future ads okay because I know that they landed on my blog post I know that they clicked I know that 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 data is 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 it's pretty damn accurate and and I and and now I, I can leverage that audience in the future um, with with more ads. Okay. So and then if you need to delete an audience, you could just check the box and then hit delete. Okay, so that's what I would be doing right there, man, um, is is simply making sure that my page is not super nice, keep it basic, the call to action, simple and, and, and urgent, put some urgency behind that call to action. That's why over here on my page, you'll see a countdown clock. Now, it already hit zero. So that's why it's at zero. But if you come to this page for the first time, it actually um, counts down, right? It's like a two minute countdown, but there's urgency, right? People get here and they're like, holy shit, let me register now, right? So it just creates urgency. So keep the page basic and simple with and 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 and, and clarity. Make sure that there's clarity. There's no clutter. There's there's it, it's a clear message on on who the hell you're looking for and the type of person that would be clicking, right? So um and, and, and I wouldn't put too much detail on that on that page, okay? So I'd keep it general. I'd keep it basic. I'd create cur curiosity. I'd give away something of value for free. Um, I'd make them opt in, and then I'd show them show them a, a, a nice offer, okay? Um, and then it's, and, and, and it's conversion ads for that one, not for this other one, okay? Not to the blog post. It's traffic. It's traffic ads to the blog post and um, – making sure your pixel is on there and creating that custom audience. All right. So hopefully that made sense. You guys, again, if you're new, man, drop me a question, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys got going on. Let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, guys. So I'll link a video down below. If you don't know how to create multiple ad sets, make sure you watch that video. If you're new to Facebook advertising, I have a free FB ads cheat sheet that goes over all these custom audiences, all the custom conversions, the most important parts of Facebook that you need to set up first in order to really maximize profits on profits on the back end. So download that free cheat sheet if, if, that's, if that's something that you're looking into um, and, and just subscribe all right you guys so shout out to the man the myth you guys go subscribe to his channel this guy's on freaking fire um and again thank you so much for the question hope that brought value to what you guys are doing online all right i'll see you guys soon